here's the sign right there. Black diamond. Three wheels. Whoa. Almost landed on my side. Bad decisions were made. Uh, <laughs> Got the neighbor's Jeep in the backyard today, welding in some trinkets. Gonna put a gas can on there, and a spare tire carrier, and then he's got some uh, storage containers that we gotta figure out how to do that. Um, yeah, cutting up some metal, reinforcing the back. We always need extra gas with us, so. Good gas can, good spot. Gives us some, a lot more storage space that's on the outside here. Um, breaks my heart to ruin the paint a little bit, but we're gonna touch that up. We're gonna go to the paint store and have us a, a can made up matching the paint, and we'll just do a and uh, it'll be finito. <laughs> All right, we got this test fitted up there. Looking good. That's a good gap there. It's like a little Johnny Quest Jeep we're going on right now. It's pretty sweet. Gonna make a few more brackets down here to hold this one up higher, or uh, stronger, I should say. And uh, this is all trial and error. This is exactly what we did. Go slum dog here. Put a bracket here to save this. Otherwise, your bracket here will start breaking so you gotta have a, a nice little bracket like that to keep this thing sitting on and those old brackets that you get from parts stores that look very nice they're pretty big big dollar but, uh, we're gonna do backyard style get this Johnny Quest going Just ran out of welding wire, so that calls it for the day. We got pretty far. Um, see, I got the mount, bottom mount for the tire. It's in pretty good. Just a straight pipe with some gussets here. Got this in there. Welded that in, some reinforcements. Got our gas can holder. I put some straps around there. It's kind of like the Earn Dog Special right there. I like it because it keeps it nice and comfortable. Going right, right in there. The strap mount going straight in there. Weld that thing to the back. Pretty slick. He just needs to beautify it and all that good stuff. Uh, we didn't have enough time, but we were going to mount these in there. Same, same way, put a strap in here like that. I was gonna put it this way, all the way, to the, this all the way to the back. Yeah, he's got another one too. Probably put it here. He wants to put all his stuff in here. Well, that's cool. That's pretty much it. Put this tire on. Yeah. See how it looks. <laughs> Sweet. That's good, eh? Johnny Quest. Johnny Quest right here. <laughs> nice. Anyhow, that's what we've been doing on Sundays, messing around. It's almost dinner time. And since we ran out of wire, that's going to call it for this one. We'll be back next Sunday with a good trail ride. <laughs> one week later.
El Cariso. We're airing down right now. We're gonna start up the trail right now. <laughs> nice, beautiful morning right next to Lake Elsinore. Is Cindy with us? Good morning, Cindy. Good morning. <laughs> We're gonna air down our tires. We're gonna get on the way right now. We're gonna head on up the mountain and uh, head on over to Wildemar OHV area. And this is our little shortcut that we're going to go. We could take the, the street up and it'll take us up, up the canyon. But uh, we're going to take the scenic route and go right up the trail where it meets the main divide um, highway. And then we'll link up to the Wildemar OHV area. And then up there, we're going to rest around up there. And we're going we're to take a look at the Black Diamond um, Trail, Bloody Jerseys. And hopefully... Slum dog and red. We'll get on that trail and knock her out. <laughs> it's uh, it's about 55 degrees outside right now. Boy, I tell you what, it's hot in here. So I took off my jacket. I'm probably gonna take these doors off. Um, I'll probably leave the back thing on. Maybe I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, we're airing down right now. Um, I like how it robs gas tank came out we put these straps on it he painted it up put a nice hitch on there looks pretty sharp we're gonna test her out today exact clone of how I run my Jeeps I like to run them with the strap and the strap up here holds them in there secure they don't flop out on the trail you know Got a nice little um, hitcheroni right there, and then uh, we're going. We got these uh, Chineseums here. Um, you can't cinch them down too tight. You can see how it crinkles right there. You cinch it down too tight, we get crinkle crinkles. But um, you know, for the trail, those are good. They're brand new inside. You throw gas in there, they get scratched or beat up. Then you know. It's all okay. Um, you know, if we run one of the old ones, then I always have trouble with the nozzles here leaking. And when we try to put gas, we got to find, um, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and that thing leaks <laughs> profusely. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we can't, yeah, if you get an original one, you bring it out here, man, I'd be like, Broken hearted if it gets scratched or dinged or something like that, but uh, <laughs> but anyhow, we're gonna get four wheel drive action on, air down these tires, and we're going up that mountain. Party on! All right, we're ready to go. The hubs are locked. Well, Rob's gonna go up there first, he's gonna hang to the left and cruise up that line right there, stay away from those ruts. We don't want to be plowing fields today. Awesome. All right, slum dog's turn now. Granny low. All the way down. Low gear. We'll start it first. Got Lake Elsinore up that way. We'll see it from up on the top right now. Bring 
pretty high up there. Let's put this on granny low. quick to put it in granny low. I like that gear. It just crawls right up, but this one will go right up in the first gear. Heck yeah. Some money right there. Nice, huh? Didn't even flinch. Not this time. A little bit more up there, I will. <laughs> I'm gonna take off the other door, dude. Well, that's a little better. I took off the doors in the back panel. Get a little warm up here. It's probably like 65 now. All right, let's get back on the trail. You guys remember this is the trail that I took my son on. He drove up uh, my other Jeep uh, called Little Brother. I let him drive up this one. It's a good trail. It's perfect for these little Jeepies. Just enough to keep you interested. Not so bad, your pants. <laughs> but we'll see when we get up to the top. That bloody, that bloody Jersey trail is supposed to be pretty Hardcore, black diamond, red diamond. We'll see if we see if we'll tackle it or not. I got my eye on uh, Rob's gas. What's that? Uh, I got my eye on Rob's jerry can, and as we're driving, see if it shifts or anything like that, just in case I gotta make any corrections to it or anything. But it shouldn't. That's pretty much how they go right there. How I like to run them, and run pretty good. He did a nice little paint job on there. Make everything uniform. Good. Make everything nice for the trail. Lake Elsinore, where we're at right now, is uh, 
let's see, on the back side of Orange County. So if we were to go due west over these mountains up here, we would hit the beach in like, I don't know, 45 minutes. So we are on the eastern edge of the Santa Ana Mountains. All these are the Santa Ana Mountains right here. So we go straight this way, it would probably be like, what, Dana Point or something like that. And uh, if we go to the right over here, it'd be Disneyland. Uh, so we're right on the edge of uh, the urban sprawl. <laughs> beautiful up here. Perfect time of the year. We had some rain a couple days ago, which is uh, not very common here in Southern California. And uh, these little trails, they get jacked up. So this is supposed to be an easy trail. Hopefully we don't end up with one of those black diamonds like we did with Pilot Rock. <laughs> Brought the winch controller this time, so we got one more tool in our box in case we need it. out there probably. Alright, we got a little V-notch here. Like it. Just straddle that V-notch here. there slum dog and next week we're going to uh, sign up for that 4x4 jamboree in San Hollow Stan Fuller out there is running a, a run on the Saturday a vintage fun run I signed up for that should be pretty fun Hey, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> King of the Hammers too at the end of the month. It's January. Uh, go over there. I'm not gonna get crazy or anything. I'm just gonna drive around and have fun. Like I did last year. It's pretty cool. Check out some rigs, talk to some people, look at those well-built buggies, just go crazy out there. <laughs> it's a pretty good time. A lot of things to see, good experience. If you guys are in the area, you want to hang out, you know, just for the day or the morning or whatever, go 
ride a trail or just go cruise around King of the Hammers, let me know. Yeah, beautiful view. Beautiful view of that lake. Divots here, off camber, the driver's side. Whoa. There we go. V notch. Let's get back up there. There we go. There we go. CJ5 looks beautiful. Interesting right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Son of a gunners. Big dip. Three wheels. Outstanding. All right, slum dog. That's kind of cool. You wouldn't be able to see that. If it was just me here. But we saw all of it. Rob's Jeep. Whoa, look, he almost got a side right there. Well, Rob's Jeep is really off. Camber really puts it in perspective. I'm gonna go this way right here. <laughs> Let's do this. On the side of there. There we go. Three wheels. Nice. Into the stuff now. Start 
started this rut and then came back up. Because that point right there looked pretty bad. You can't see it that good. We had to get through here. Rodney Dangerfield action back. Serious, man. I was like, hmm. Triple Don't, Lindy. Triple Lindy right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, come this way. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to start at the beginning. I seen your, your back end, it went like like that, dude. I was like, the whole, it like articulated fully. Oh, really? I was like, damn, that thing's cool. But I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Uh, it got up there. It I felt the, the wheels. The front, yeah. yeah, crazy. The mountain biker was all just sitting there, just watching. Dude. <laughs> just like, all right. <laughs> Freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're coming up here, it's January. You'll need lockers. That part of the trail is. Not uh, gonna ruin your day. Sweet. Man, if I had my my horns in, I would have definitely freaking sounded the cavalry charge on that one. <laughs> but I haven't uh, built my center council that I'm gonna build, and then I still need to make a mount for that uh, horn controller. We'll get it. I'm supposed to be doing it this weekend, but I'm not messing around. <laughs> Maybe next. Well, next weekend I'll be in Utah. My San Hollow. So weekend after that, uh, yeah, something like that. We'll get it done eventually. You know how it goes. <laughs> Forty six, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forty six ish. <laughs> Freaking fenders and everything come out from the junkyard. Slow we call it slum. What's up, brother? <laughs> call it slum dog. <laughs> We got parts from every year on this Jeep. But I'll call it a 46. <laughs>
looking down Lake Elsinore and uh, this road really turned beautiful. I never think that I'm over here in Southern California right now. It's like Colorado or something on a, on a little mountain road. Beautiful. I'll miss you. <laughs> That's where we're going right there. Wildemar OHV area. And we're gonna go check out the what is it called? The bloody coat? Bloody, bloody jersey. jersey. Black diamond. Let me see if our little GP's got what it what it takes to do a black diamond. <laughs> it's beautiful out here right now. We got Temecula back that way, all the wineries, Fallbrook, and a couple ridge lines more. That's the north end of Camp Pendleton. That way is Dana Point. LA is up that way. And we over here in Never Never Land. <laughs> awesome. All right, Slum Dog, saddle up. Let's get busy. All right, move on. Wow, look at that. Beautiful horses. Beautiful. My goodness. What's that, dude? Let's do it. You got reverse. <laughs> well, we're going to look for that Black Diamond Trail. Uh, we don't know if we're going to go up it yet. I don't know if we can hang, but uh, we'll definitely get a walk through. We're here at the the beginning of uh, Wildemar OHV. We just paid our five dollar fee. So the guy told us to make a right, another, and and then another right. So that's what we're gonna do. Try to look for that black diamond trail, bloody jersey. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, we don't know if we're going to go up it. We're definitely going to go take a look. Go do a little route recon. <laughs> definitely going to walk it, for sure. And then we'll see if our little jeepies will do it. Striping. Damn. So I guess we're on the Wildemar Loop Trail, I guess. Or something like that. We don't know. We're just doing a route recon right now. Finally, it tells us to go this way. But hey, we're having a good time trying to find it. Pretty good little trails here. What big old network of little hills and ruts and perfect for this little Jeep. Got some pinstriping though. Didn't like that. No bueno. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the trail. We're gonna take a little walk of risky over here. Make sure 
and it's uh, safe for the little willies to cruise through here. Ooh, some deep ruts here. Look at that. I'm six foot tall. Uh, it's about three foot standing right in it. <clears throat> then our little tires don't have very good traction. I think we created a traffic jam down there. We parked it right in front of this trail. It sounds like a big old bunch of people back there. Yeah, looks doable. Woo, it work out. Oh, it isn't. Oh, is that right? This goes around. Goes back this way. Yeah. No, man, I'm winded. Whew. <laughs> yeah, our tires don't have very good grip. Goes good forward. But for this loose sandstone, yeah, like I did on that other hill, we slipped off. Uh oh. Uh oh. I did bring the winch this time, so. <laughs> yeah, as we keep our. If we slide off. Yeah, we're up Shit Creek. We slide off the the V. But other than that, you know, it's right. nothing, you know. <laughs> Yeah, three foot frickin' V knot. <laughs> yeah, here's the sign right there. Black diamond. if we crash, it'll be slow. Three mile an hour rollover. All right, time for bad decisions. It's a go. I think I. I think they went the other way. There's a bunch of people back there, but they turned away. So let's get up ahead of him. Black Diamond here. <clears throat> Three foot V notch with some NDTs that don't have that great of traction going side to side. So the problem is if we slip that way, we'll figure it out. If we break something or bend something, it's cool. I know a guy with a big hammer and a welder.
Got it. You got it. Beautiful. All right, that was the pra part we were scared of. I didn't. Three wheels. Did it. Black Diamond approved. <laughs> that is awesome. He powered right through it. Uh, let's see, I'll make him go down, and then it'll be me. That is freaking outstanding. There you go, it made his turn. Then come back down. The man right there. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, the hip. Freaking awesome. Look at that. Bad to the bone. Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo. Sketchy, uh. A little bit <laughs> How'd you do? You did all right? That's pretty. That's good, huh? I made it poo a little bit. You check some shorts. Yeah. She's like, wait, we just turn around? <laughs> Damn, uh. Woo. That three foot notch, I was, I was going like this or like that. And I was guiding them in there a little bit. But man, he's showing the cojones right now. <laughs> Black Diamond down! Black Diamond down! <laughs> Bloody Jersey. I'm up next. I'm going to give this camera to him and hopefully uh, he doesn't fall down like I did. <laughs> Alright dude, here you go. Let's do this. Oh dear. plowing the field over there. It was high centered. But here, it's just gonna dump me into the notch. Scratch me up, and then I'll be stuck. There's no window. There we go. Three wheels. Doing my field. 
wheel. All right. Get through it. Get through it. Now it's dead. Now we just gotta do the rest. Whoa. 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 Almost landed on my side. Damn it! Messing up my paint job. All right! Woo! I gotta fire the gardener, man. Throw his pinstripes on me. saying that this thing was unpassable because of the rain washed it all out. But you just saw two 80-year-old Jeeps just destroy this trail. Out freaking stand. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Woo! Money right there. I don't know how to get my video on. I think most of my shoes in the sky. <laughs> It's all right. It's all good. We just out here messing around anyways. <laughs> so if you guys are just following the channel, these two Willys Jeeps are built almost exactly the same. Uh, we got axles, we got Dana 27s with lockers, Dana 44s with lockers. 30. 30 with locker in the back there. V6, 225, odd fire. Uh, Chevy four speed SM420. Bolts right in. Yeah, bolts right in. <laughs> if you haven't seen that drama, check out those videos. Yeah. But it was all fun, though. It was fun for, for, fun for me, anyways. Man, this guy was stressing out. <laughs> we didn't need the winch, thank goodness. It just powered up there, powered right back down. Same thing with him. And man, that was money. Money, money, money. <laughs> Awesome, man. That gives a high five right there. That was a lot of fun. Hell yeah. Black Diamond. All that was missing was Cleo. Complete. Oh. Uh, gonna pump up, end of the trail. We're gonna head back. 